happiness is a great topic to begin with and to really look at my, my life and to see because basically I, I really based my life on this word happiness and, and trying to, to achieve that to some degree and, and had all sorts of different definitions of what that meant for me and sometimes I could call it you know looking for love, looking for happiness and then having all of these different descriptions of what that meant and basically what it meant for me was attributed to positive thoughts, emotions and sensations and basically in the Balance View training we like to just term all that we experience like thoughts, emotions, sensations and people, places and things just as data and so you could say I was looking for all positive data basically and that would deem my, my uh, success uh, that would deem myself as being being happy in the world and looking for that that sensation maybe of of love looking for that sensation of feeling good about myself and my career my relationships feeling positive descriptions about them and that was a bit difficult because when we look at our direct experience right now you may notice something about your thoughts and emotions and all of your different sensations all of your different data they are constantly changing and they arise <coughs> and and resolve and then the next one arises and the next one and then this one and that one then there's a feeling and then there's a thought and then there's a sensation all the while, just in this, these last five seconds, you may have noticed many, many different perceptions. And so here I saw, okay, I've got a long life to live, hopefully. There's a lot of different thoughts, emotions and sensations. How am I going to solidify them into happy ones? And that actually made me increasingly unhappy I found <laughs> because I kept on being an increasing failure at it. It was like trying to to really um, seeing a mirage in the distance oh yes more happy thoughts more loving data it's there I can see it it's so close it's in that partner it's in that experience it's in that sexual experience it's in that, uh, that food, that drink. <laughs> and then getting there, and what do we see? Resolving like a mirage in space. Maybe there was a, a momentary feeling of, or, of, of fulfillment, of satisfaction. And then what happens? In my experience, it, it vanished completely and so where I was on the scale of yes good achieving a happy life it goes down straight away <laughs> and so this constant up and down I was subject to by placing all of my emphasis on data and now in the balance view training that was immediately completely revolutionized you could say by just giving the the basis of reality reality just as it is and that's very very simply and directly giving an introduction to the nature of, of mind and that is to stop thinking just for a moment recognize what remains when you stop thinking clarity and alertness there's a basis the power to know all of these experiences and so when I started to really uh, recognize this in my daily life, this started to change, completely change, and immediately change my definition of, of how, I, how I want to live, my definition of happiness, my definition of true love, true happiness, true fulfillment. Really bring, bringing to the fore that these data 
descriptions, these thoughts, emotions and sensations are like a mirage in space, like a rainbow appearing and vanishing naturally, inseparable from space itself. So as you experience all of your different thoughts and emotions today, right now, recognize they are inseparable from that open intelligence. That clarity that we recognized when we stopped thinking is there, right present, when you are thinking. And that clarity we simple, simply term open intelligence. And so this open intelligence is inseparable from all of your thoughts and emotions, the, the unhappy ones and the happy ones, giving an ultimate, ultimate uh, fulfillment and satisfaction. And so my, my understanding of how to live a happy life has completely changed. And I see that happiness in every circumstance, that true happiness and fulfillment. And it's increasing, ever increasing, limitless, no destination of, yes, um, reached that happiness top and then there's no more greater than that. Sometimes it can feel like that, it can't get better than this. And then the next moment it, it does. <laughs> the next moment outshines the next and the next and the next. So I can't wait to be with you again here in a, in a year and speak about my experience because I know it will be increasingly bright. I, I can only know it's increasingly bright from that recognition. I can only be completely assured from that recognition because without from that recognition of open intelligence at the basis of all of the data. If I only knew about the data streams like I once did, and I only focused on it, I could be certain that I was in for ups and downs. <laughs> ups and downs, constantly changing, like all of the changes you've just had from the last time we checked <laughs> in your thoughts, emotions and sensations. So constantly being at a victim of that is exhausting. I found it incredibly isolating, um, devastating at times to see, okay, I, I only, this is all I've got. <laughs> I'm going to try my best to rearrange my circumstances so that I have a happy life. And I did pretty good. And, and I, I'm, very for, I'm very fortunate in my life to have the ability to, to do that. And then it just continued to fail. As, as good as I got, it continued to fail. And so great gratitude for this introduction to the nature of my mind and this support to see that it's not only just an introduction, it's a lifestyle and it can be lived. It's not only a description that you're hearing. It's something that you can test and in your experience and know directly. You can know it directly right now with whatever thought you're experiencing. Recognize how it vanishes naturally, like a line in water, effortlessly releasing. Know that when you have a challenging thought, the next time you have a painful description. The instruction of relying on short moments of open intelligence repeated many times until it becomes obvious all the time is the key instruction that you'll hear in this training and it's there for you to test it's there for you to know how it works in your direct experience and so the next time you have maybe a, a difficult thought emotion sensation description data stream it's there for you to test it out and it's there for you to know what that is in your direct experience. And so recognize uh, open intelligence the next time a challenge arises, today maybe. See how that, that thought effortlessly releases without you needing to do anything about it. It's completely freeing. And you can recognize that open intelligence that power to know is at the basis. I feel every day passionate. I'm, I wake up and most days, I would say not every day, I, I think of, wow, what can I do today to be of benefit? What can I, I'm, I'm so excited to, to be with you all, to do things. I work on 
my computer up there many times uh, involved in the visuals that you saw last night. Um, every day I'm doing activities like that, um, remixing videos like you saw this morning and having total joy at, at <laughs> with that. Um, so I find constant passion. I find constant passion in, in also in s recognizing those challenging data streams, their spontaneous release, and their inseparability from passion itself. And so if you find you are inc incredibly negative or incredibly uh, afflicted or have all of these different sensations, then right there is the inseparability of open intelligence recognition to that data stream. Right there is the, the power button <laughs> for reality. It's your, it's your access to, to tap into the every moment passion of, of everyday life. And, and so where once it really pushed me down, I see it only empowers me now. Where once I felt like, oh, I need to stay in bed, I need to stay indoors, I can't speak to anyone, paralyzed. Where once I felt the descriptions were like that for me, now I see passion, I see empowerment, I see the capacity and the ability, the potency to use that to be of benefit to all. And so that's really the ultimate definition of all of these negative things that we were told are wrong, you have to get rid of, you have to chuck them out, extract them, relax them away, breathe them out, all of these things, the, they are your power. They are your passion. They are your capacity to be of incredible benefit. And so allow them to be as they are. Directly and fiercely allow them to be as they are. In short moments, repeated many times. <laughs>